coming up next, what could be a heavyweight title fight for the ages between the pit bull Andre Arlovsky and Anthony Johnson. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Johnson is 36. Arlovsky is 41. He weighed in at 240 pounds. Johnson will have a one inch reach advantage. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, six losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Anthony Rumble Johnson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of 34 wins, 21 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Andre the Pitbull. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it fair.
crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy that's a striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. And he landed the right hand there. You didn't like that left hand. Oh. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh! Massive kick to the body, lands flush. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Johnson. Big right hand there. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> sure how many more of these his opponent can take. The massive shot that he landed. Great job. So just over 20 total strikes have now connected for the heavyweight Andre Arlovsky. In the clinch, big body punch, digging his entire hip into every single strike. Nice hook lands. Coming. Johnson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Under two minutes now to go. Nice punch lands. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Ninety seconds and counting here in our opening round. You got the turtle in that kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Some nice back and forth action here. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. You gotta defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish.
All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committed to a goalie. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Tries to work it into a takedown. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more with that game. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Start looking to land big shots from the top. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in this second round. No, oh! huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very fast. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, half guard for him here and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Holy smokes! Oh my goodness, what a fight! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout and. That's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, two seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. You know how much I love crowning new champions yeah. and when we get to see these men and women realize these dreams. But to do it at heavyweight, man, just incredible to see this guy realize a UFC title. And you look at the emotion on his face. You can tell that this is a dream 
that he has had for a long time, and now it is really